Hi everyone! We're here in Hiroshima City where we're gonna spend the next 24 hours. This city is the capital of Hiroshima Prefecture located in Chugoku region in southern Japan. In the morning of August 6, 1945, during World War II, at exactly 8.15 a.m., the U.S. Air Force dropped an atomic bomb in the city, killing thousands of people instantly and leaving 140,000 people dead by the end of the year, including those who died due to radiation exposure. First order of the day is to drop by the Tourist Information Center here at Hiroshima Station to grab some maps and guides and ask about the tram schedule. You can get around the city just by riding the trams or streetcars, and Hiroshima has the biggest tram network in the country. A single ride on the inner city lines costs 220 yen, and you can pay cash or use your Suica or Pasmo card. Hiroshima Electric Railway, which runs the tram, offers a one-day streetcar pass for 700 yen, and another pass with unlimited streetcar rides for a day, plus a round-trip ferry boat ride to Miyajima, a nearby island, for 900 yen. Alternatively, you can ride the JR1 Hiroshima Sightseeing Loop buses, also known as Meipurupu, to get to the attractions. Didn't you know that four trams survived the atomic bomb? These are trams number 651, 652, 653, and 654. Three are still operational while one is on display at a museum. What's really interesting here is that just a few days after the bombing, a few of the trams were already back in operation. For today's sightseeing, we have booked a cycling tour via Viator and our meeting time is 10 a.m., which is perfect as we still have time to check in and leave our bags at the hotel. We're staying at Capsule Hotel Cube Hiroshima, which is a 7-minute tram ride from the station. We booked this on Booking.com and paid 13,500 yen for 3 people or 1,679 pesos per person. Front court floor. The tourist meeting place is at a cafe, which is a 12-minute walk from the hotel. When you book a bike tour in Viator, you need to write down your height so they can get a bike that fits you. Unfortunately, the seat of the bike that my friend got couldn't be adjusted and it was too high for her. So she couldn't join us at every point of the tour and just met us at the Peace Park. Viator was quick to refund her booking bill. The cost of the tour is $69 or $3,500 per person. It's slightly over our budget, but it's worth it. You will learn a lot in just 3 hours, which is perfect if you have limited time. Biking around Hiroshima is not at all scary. We mostly pass through the inner streets and as in every corner of Japan, everyone follows traffic rules. Yeah? That's the worst bit of the whole tour. Okay. So we survived it. <laughs> <laughs> Our first stop is at the Fukuro Machi Elementary School Peace Museum, which is one of the Hibaku buildings in the city, or buildings that survived the atomic bombing. Located just 460 meters from the Hypo Center, the school was badly damaged and only the outer walls of the West Building were left. All the students who were at the school when the bomb was dropped instantly died. And in year 2000, messages on the wall written by people who sought refuge in this place were discovered. Visitors are given these tiny paper crane origami as souvenirs. Unfortunately, I forgot to take photos while in the museum. We briefly stopped at the former Bank of Japan branch here in Hiroshima, located just 380 meters from the Hypo Center. Lindsay said that there were 20 staff working here on the day of the bombing, and all of them were killed. But just two days after the bombing, this branch reopened for cash withdrawals and served as a temporary area for other financial institutions whose offices were damaged. We're headed towards the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park, which is home to various museums and monuments dedicated to the victims of the atomic bomb and is a place to learn about the cruelty and realities of nuclear warfare and how important it is to eliminate nuclear weapons and protect peace. This clock is really cool, so if you want to check it out with okay. me. This is the Peace Watch Tower, which is inside the Peace Memorial Museum. Apart from the usual clock, you will see two digital clocks. The upper one shows the number of days since Hiroshima was bombed, and the lower one shows the number of days since the last nuclear test was done. The bike tour doesn't include entrance in a tour inside the Peace Memorial Museum, so we will need to go back here after the bike tour is over. 
This arch is the cenotaph for the victims of the atomic bomb, which was built in 1952. Underneath it is a stone that serves as a registry for those who died during and after the bombing. Engraved on it are the lines, Let all the souls here rest in peace, for we shall not repeat the evil. This is the Children's Peace Monument, which was built to remember children who died from the bombing, particularly Sadako Sasaki, a young girl who contracted leukemia after getting exposed to radiation and died 10 years after. Around it are colorful exhibits of paper cranes. In Japan, they say that if you fold a thousand paper cranes, your wish will come true. Sadako did this when she was sick with hopes to someday recover from the illness. This is the former Prefectural Industrial Promotion Hall and today, it's called the A-Bomb Dome or Genbaku Dome, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Genbaku in Japanese means atomic bomb. With a distance of just 160 meters away from the Hypo Center, this building was severely damaged and the heat melted the copper that covered the dome. This is the only structure left standing near the Hypo Center after the blast, and how it looks now is exactly how it looked like right after the bombing. The atomic bomb detonated 600 meters above the city, creating a massive ball of fire followed by a gigantic mushroom cloud that arose from the ground. The city was instantly covered in a vast, blinding white flash of light, and the blazing heat around the Hypo Center reached 4,000 degrees Celsius, enough to melt bronze and burn the skin of a person located 3.5 kilometers away from this area. Just a 2-3 to three minute walk from the A-Bomb Dome is the Hypo Center marker. Now, it's time to explore other points of interest in the city. This shrine is located within the compound of the Hiroshima Castle. It's originally located near the Peace Park but was destroyed by the atomic bomb. It's now the largest Shinto shrine in Hiroshima City. guys have seen all these carp streamers around Japan at the moment. The now Hiroshima Castle was built eight years after the atomic bomb destroyed the original castle. It's been converted to a museum that tells about the city's history before the bombing. Wow. Even a garden, if you see a Japanese garden. This beautiful Japanese garden is a famous sightseeing spot here, visited by 250,000 people per year. It was built in 1620 as a garden for the villa of Florid Asano Naga Akira, who was then the daimyo in Hiroshima. Shukeian Garden is the last in our tour itinerary, so let's return the bike and go back to the Peace Memorial Museum. The Peace Memorial Museum accounts what exactly happened on the day of the bombing and where you will really get a grasp of the horrors of that day. I have to warn you that the images you will see and the stories you will read here are not meant for the faint-hearted. They're about people who died on the spot from the bombing, or who were severely injured and burned, people who were displaced and lost loved ones, and many others. You will also see exhibits of the victims' personal belongings, watch video testimonies of some survivors, and learn other topics related to atomic bomb and peace preservation. There's a new day to leave behind your troubles There's a new day and it will save This is the 577-meter-long Hiroshima Hondori Shopping Street, which attracts an average of 100,000 people every day. The west end of the street is very close to the A-Bomb Dome. Hiroshima is known for okonomiyaki, a Japanese pancake with a variety of ingredients. It literally means grill as you like, and there are two best variants of this dish in Japan, the Osaka version and the Hiroshima version. In Osaka, it's cooked as a single lump of batter, while here in Hiroshima, the ingredients are cooked in layers and usually come with shredded cabbages and noodles. We're here at Okonomimura, which means Okonomiyaki Village, a very popular Okonomiyaki-themed food place. It's a four-story building full of Okonomiyaki stalls. We found a space at Ron Okonomiyaki, a stall located at the fourth floor. We haven't had a decent meal since arriving in Hiroshima, so we decided to spend a little more here. 
we ordered three okonomiyaki, two servings of potato salad, and three drinks. Our total bill is 6,810 yen or 850 pesos per person. This is not bad considering the amount of food we ate. We're back at the hotel and while we're here, let me give you a tour. This is one of the most quiet and cleanest capsule hotels I've ever stayed at. We booked the moderate cabin which has more vertical space that I could even stand inside it. There's a small TV, a headphone, controls for the AC and light, and an alarm clock. Underneath is a storage for your belongings which can be locked. They also provide a shoe tray and this mesh bag which comes with a pair of slippers, towels, pajamas, and toiletries. I didn't know about her. Let's go check the vanity area and the toilet. Everything here is just clean and in order and the toilet is spotless as well. This is the shower area which comes with a separate changing area. The cubicle has built-in shower bench and comes with a complete set of toiletries. Since the night is still young, we decided to have a stroll outside and get a feel of how Hiroshima is like at nighttime. We discovered this place called Nagarekawa, which is like an area of tiny streets with lots of bars and restaurants. I've read that this place is Hiroshima's version of Osaka's Dotonbori. We're back in the tram and now headed to the train station. If I were to change anything in this trip, I would stay here for at least three days and two nights and a lot a day and have to feel the history some more and learn as much as I can about what happened on August 6, 1945. I would also visit the nearby island Miyajima, which is famous for its giant tori gate and oysters. It did not take too long for Hiroshima to recover, even if a part of it was devastated by a strong typhoon just a month after the bombing. When you look at present Hiroshima city, you wouldn't think that this place was almost burnt down 79 years ago. A pamphlet I got from the Tourist Information Center beautifully describes it as a proverbial phoenix from the ashes. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day to wash away the pain. Washed out by the rain 